We're living in times where people might think of R&R &R as ranting and raving. But as the seasons change, we're reminded nothing lasts forever. We see hope in the world around us. You know, a lot of people are seeking rest and relaxation, but I think most of all, we're looking for a change of scenery. My family and I just returned from a trip to the mountains. The fresh air and just a little bit of time in a different setting helped us reset our batteries and refocus our direction in these challenging and tough times that we've been facing. This episode of Hometown Heroes is brought to you by Buick GMC, step up like a pro. There are people dedicated to making others' lives better every day. They face challenges and make sacrifices to help those in need. Our heroes devote their skills, time, and sometimes their lives to service. In our own backyard or faraway places, theirs are stories of service. One of the many reasons my family went to the mountains was to get out of our routine. And the city of Norfolk understands the value in getting out of the house and going to a neighborhood spot. It gives the residents, the people in this area, um, somewhere to go, something to do. You know, they've been shut in, things have been closed down. They want something to do and this is exciting. You guys are gonna have live music. They're able to come out and have social distancing in a park. I mean, you can ask for anything more. Come on, Norfolk. Y'all just better come on, okay? Our main focus when we started Open Norfolk was to help the businesses to understand how they could adapt uh, to the new regulations and really keep their businesses alive. So now we've moved out to the neighborhoods and we recognize that there's a lack of uh, community gathering right now. So we've called these our neighborhood spots. Uh, we have one in Five Points and then one in uh, Broad Creek as well. So the spot will be available Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays uh, just for recreation use. Uh, we'll have some games that kids can check out. And then uh, we'll also be activating with specific programming like workshops for crafts, uh, movie nights, and yoga. Open Norfolk Phase 2 is fantastic. This is the coolest thing that uh, the city of Norfolk could do for the citizens uh, here in the city of Norfolk. It's going to give citizens an opportunity to have a place to go, to have a good time, but also be out in the open that is much needed as we go through the pandemic here. Thank you, citizens of Norfolk. Thank you to the residents of Ward 3. Open Norfolk helps people escape even to eat at a safe and fun place. Una de las cosas más grandes que ha hecho es que nos ha permitido pues expandir el patio hasta afuera eh, para poder tener a personas que vienen porque mucha gente quiere salir de su casa, quieren venir a comer, pues qué mejor lugar que aquí. Hopefully it's a permanent thing because um, a lot of people do like the idea of being able to sit outside and enjoying the weather and plus it provides me with more seating options because we are so small, to have this extension actually helps a lot. So we immediately went, set about working uh, when the phase one rules came out, trying to figure out how we could create outdoor dining, how we could create uh, spaces that work for our small businesses um, in the city. I've worked with the city for about 17 years. However, for them to say that we're gonna paint an area, extend your patio, and we're gonna have this done within five to seven days, is absolutely phenomenal. That's why Open Norfolk is, is tremendous uh, for these businesses, because it just gives them that extra boost of confidence. We want Norfolk to continue to be on that path of continuous success. We provided everything we could um, at, at no cost to the businesses. Um, they had already suffered enough, and we wanted to, to try to help them um, as best we could. The city has been quite supportive. Um, without them, I don't know how we would have gotten through this. When they had explained what they were going to do, so I'm like, uh, how much is this going to cost? She so says, well, the city is um, donating. I'm like, what? Open Norfolk provided our whole patio and the tables and chairs. Um, and I literally didn't even have to come out here and do anything. 
I think Norfolk's gone above and beyond their call to make that happen for its small business community. Thank you, Open Norfolk and Work Program Architecture for providing this outdoor seating for Cutter's Kitchen. We appreciate it. Pues gracias a realmente a la ciudad de Norfolk por la oportunidad y, y por ayudarnos a, a seguir en el negocio y, y pues aquí estamos para ustedes. Nature can be soothing and in Hampton Roads veterans have the opportunity to find community and healing with a bridal at Trails of Purpose. And so what we do is offer mental health care, um, so equine assisted psychotherapy or psychoeducational classes, community classes um, for veterans completely free of charge. We are a IRS certified 501c3. We operate as a PATH center, PATH standing for Professional Association of Therapeutic Horsemanship. It's uh, the veterans taking care of the veterans and that was the reason, you know. I feel comfortable and it's fun, you know, and, and especially, especially the volunteers. Thank you again. So I grew up on Long Island in New York, outside of New York City, about an hour outside. My father passed away in 9-11. I was eight years old. Um, he worked in the North Twin Tower of the World Trade Center. Um, and so I grew up and I saw this equine therapy and at some point I decided I was going to commit my life to serving others who are also feeling the first-hand effects of trauma and terrorism. Horses are herd animals. They function in a herd mentality. They're constantly looking out for others around them. So that has a lot to do with the similarities between veterans and horses. Veterans are trained to have a herd mentality. They've always got their partner six. So they kind of feed off each other. If we get a veteran who's in session, who is um, hyperactive, a little bit more aware, on alert, the horse is gonna start to act that way. Um, so we're really careful and intentional about not just being a program that you come in and you go out of, but a program that you come in and we tailor to you and then you leave and hopefully you personally have felt like you've gained some momentum in your life. It's, it's an amazing program that I'm incredibly grateful for. Uh, the biggest change in me is just a sense of calmness. Um, I was always very anxious, and as soon as I drive in those front gates, it's just an immediate sense of calm with me. We will be a space to talk with you. We have all certified mental health counselors that do that, um, and we just want to be that for the community, for the veteran community. We also provide it to spouses or children um, of the veteran. Uh, again, 100% free. We rely solely on um, grant raising and individual donations to operate. So there's, there's no money that needs to happen when you come to Trails of Purpose. It's just, it's really a blessing that it's free because nothing is free. And Kayla has such a heart to serve the veteran community. Um, it's really, it's really appreciated. I get way more out of Trails of Purpose than any veteran that walks through that door, hands down. I promise for the rest of my life. Um, it is the thing that keeps me filled up at the end of the day. Veterans are finding change when they come here and they're finding the support that they need and that they deserve. We're just getting started. And when we come back, we'll see other ways people are helping each other. Stay with us.